Hello and welcome to Java everybody and finally this is the first time um, Java is appearing on my channel. Um, I've been doing it but I just never felt like I wanted to upload a video on Java but now since it's really popular and it has been one of the most popular programming languages people use before it's too late I'm just going to go ahead and upload my first video on Java especially because a lot of schools have been teaching Java as well. Um, this, I'm not going to upload Java in like a long time, but that can change depending on how well this video does. Um, if this video hits 10 likes, I'm going to make it 10 likes. Then I'm going to go ahead and upload another Java video and we can make this Java video a series, just like my other series in my other playlists. So once again, if this video hits 10 likes, I'll upload another Java video and make it a series. So first, what is Java? Java is one of the most popular programming languages, like I said. It's used by a lot. And the reason why it's most commonly used is because it works on many operating systems like Mac, Windows, Raspberry Pi, Linux, you name it. Java is most likely going to work on there. We use Java for games, applications, and databases. And then finally, we use Java because it's an object-oriented language, meaning that um, it has a structure to it. So our Java code right here, it has like a structure. You can kind of see that structure with these brackets, with these curly braces, and then with the public. That's what makes Java such a good programming language because it's object oriented, meaning that it follows a consistent sort of style. So before we can start understanding what how Java works, Java first must be installed on our PCs. A lot of PCs already have Java installed. So if, if you think that your PC has Java, you can go ahead and check if it has it installed by going to your command prompt and typing java-version. What this is going to do is that's going to show the Java that's installed on your computer. If you see something like this, then Java is probably already installed on your computer. And you can go ahead and just skip this part of the video that I'm going to be saying next. If you do not see something like this, you'll need to install Java um, at oracle.com. Oracle is the people who created Java. So you can go ahead and oracle.com and install it. I'll have a link in the description down below. With that being said, let's get started with talking about Java. I don't like to use Visual Studio on Java just because it just makes things more chaos and messy. So I, I go ahead and I use Eclipse for Java. BlueJ also works. I'll put a link for Eclipse and BlueJ down below so you can go ahead and download both of those. So now let's get to the main point. Every Java code has three lines. Once again, since Java is an object oriented language, it follows a certain, it follows a certain style. So right here we have public and then we have public and then we have curly braces. These curly braces are really important because they separate the block of code. Right here is a block of code. Wherever the curly bra brace starts and wherever the curly brace ends. This right here is a block of code. And then this is a block, and then this right there is a block of code. So it's good for organizing stuff. So with that being said, let's get started. There are three main lines that must be present in Java. I already have them right here. The first thing is your class. So before you even start with Java, you need to make a file. Um, so I hope you already did that. If you haven't made a file already, you need to go ahead and make one. Um, say hello world.java or do whatever you want. It doesn't have to be hello world. I'm just doing hello world for the purpose of this demo. So you can go ahead and do whatever you want. Like I like to say mutton curry or chicken curry, whatever you want. I mean, it's all up to you. And then it just has to end with dot Java. That must be there because it tells a program that you're doing Java. So with that being said, then you can get started. First is your class. Your class name must match your file name. No exception. This is how we can, this is how we refer to the file. So right here, I said hello world and the name of my file is hello world. So that is the name of my class. After that, we then have our main. Main must be present in every Java code. Whatever is present inside main is what it's going to show on the console or the terminal. And then lastly, we have our system.out.println. Don't worry what string args is. That's part of main. I'm not going to go much in depth to it right now. But lastly, we have our system.out.println. What this does, it's like our print statement in Python. It's going to display the information to the terminal. You can also say println instead of 
instead of print so you can just say print ln not print um the difference is um i'll just go ahead and say it so what print ln is going to do is that it's going to print whatever you want inside so inside i want to say chicken curry but what what print ln is going to do is that it's going to move the cursor to the next line so the next line of code i try to print it's going to print on the next line like right here however when i just simply say print it's going to keep the cursor on that line so the next statement will just follow at that same line so i, can, I guess you can call it an enter so print line will make the cursor it will move it to the next one so it's going to give like an enter Hopefully that should make any sense, but I'm not going to go too much into depth of it right now. But now that you understand how this code works, let's go ahead and run it. So I need to right click and then let's go to run. And now it says chicken curry. So that is the introduction to Java. And if you enjoyed it, be sure to go down there and press the like button. 10 likes, I'm going to be making another Java video and it's going to be a series. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time.